Chicago Cubs fans are extremely devoted. They have to be, because the Cubs only win the World Series every 108 years. Whenever you watch an away game, like in St. Louis or Milwaukee, you see almost as many away jerseys in the stands as you do home jerseys. Because Milwaukee is only 90 miles north of Chicago, some Cubs fans called Miller Park, or American Family Field, or whatever it's called these days, Wrigley North. Which is one of the reasons Brewers fans hate the Cubs and their fans so much. I always joke that Brewer fans hate Cubs fans because they act like a bunch of f***ing Green Bay Packer fans. So we've established that the Chicago Cubs fan base is devoted. So much so that if anyone does anything to jeopardize their success, his life will be ruined. won the World Series in 1908 against the Detroit Tigers. The next time they went to the World Series was in 1945 and lost to the Detroit Tigers. During Game 4, a tavern owner by the name of William Cianus was kicked out of the game by owner Philip Wrigley because people were complaining about the smell of his pet billy goat. Cianus' tavern, by the way, is called the Billy Goat Tavern one of my favorite places in Chicago. Cianus placed a curse on the Cubs, saying they would not win a World Series until the GOAT was allowed back at Wrigley Field. In 2003, however, it looked like this curse was going to end because the Cubs made it to the postseason. On October 14th, the Cubs were playing the Miami Marlins at Wrigley Field. The Cubs were winning the series 3-2 and were leading game 6 3-0, and it was the 8th inning. Miami Marlin Luis Castillo hit a fly ball into foul territory in left field. Cubs outfielder Moses Alou tried to catch the ball near the wall, but in an attempt to catch it, a fan by the name of Steve Bartman deflected the ball. If Alou had caught the ball, it would have been the second out in the inning. So it didn't directly cost the Cubs the game. What directly costed the Cubs the game was the Cubs giving up eight runs after the incident. The Cubs lost the game and went on to lose the last game, ending their season and strengthening the belief in William Cianus's curse. Bartman was blamed. Oh, Steve, it's coming right at us. Grab it. I don't want to get in the way. It's a foul ball. What harm can it do? and fans threw pizza and poured beer on him. Bartman had to be escorted out dressed as an usher because fans wanted to tar and feather him. This was obviously not Chicago's finest hour. And all you Cub fans, I don't have, uh, you guys, do you, you don't even care. You started caring when some fucking nerd wearing a Walkman touched a foul ball and you all piled on him like, like the fucking pussies you are. Kind of like in 1871 when the city blamed Catherine O'Leary, a poor dairy farmer, for starting the Great Chicago Fire. After the Cubs won the World Series in 2016, owner Tom Ricketts convinced Bartman to come back to Wrigley Field, where he received an apology from the organization, and more importantly, a 2016 championship ring worth about $70,000. For that kind of cash, I'd be willing to suffer hatred from the Cubs fans for 13 years. Now it's time the Cubs should present Catherine O'Leary's ancestors a ring in order to make up for that other instance of Chicago behaving badly.